So what's the best way to pay for stuff in Colombia? Hi all, I'm Israido and you're watching my travel channel where I talk all things Colombia. Now if you've seen any of my other recent videos, you'll know I've been covering some of the baseline essential things you want to have uh, for your day-to-day -day life in Colombia. And today I wanted to cover another topic that would fall into that category and that is the topic of paying for stuff. Now I actually already talked about this briefly in my Living in Colombia 101 video, which you can find a link for in the description. But today I wanted to go into more detail specifically about a particular debit card that I would recommend using. First of all though, let's just quickly go over how paying for Stuff works in Colombia. So essentially over there you'll find that cash is used a lot more than debit or credit cards. I've never been anywhere there where cash wasn't accepted but I did find quite frequently a lot of places that didn't accept card payments due to the lack of an FPOS machine. Most of the time you can guess which places will and won't accept it based on how big or small uh, the business is like for instance restaurant chains and department stores generally accept card uh, whereas local eateries and souvenir stores generally don't. Uh, there are times though where you might be surprised, like for instance the National Museum in Bogota doesn't accept card payments for some reason. So yeah, I would say it's a good idea to have a bit of cash on you at all times, unless you're just popping out quickly to go to the supermarket or somewhere that you know accepts card. Uh, that being said, it's probably not a good idea to carry a lot of cash on you, as if you get robbed you obviously don't want to lose too much. I mean, it's unlikely you will if you know what you're doing, but it's a good precaution anyway to not carry too much cash. Anyway, moving on from cash, what I really wanted to talk about today, as I mentioned, is a particular card I want to recommend for use in Colombia, and that is this international debit card from Wise, previously known as TransferWise. They are not a sponsor, but I just wanted to talk about it as it's the card that I use in Colombia and probably the easiest, most hassle-free and least expensive option there is to use there. I mean, you could get a bank account over there, I guess, but I wouldn't recommend that unless you're staying on a long-term visa as it's gonna be a lot of hassle to set up otherwise, like they'll want a cedula and a bunch of other stuff you probably don't have. As for using your debit card internationally, this will obviously rack up a lot of fees and even the travel cards your bank might offer will likely get expensive if you're in Colombia for several months or more. Although if you're there for a month or less, that might be a viable option for you. Uh, anyway, getting back to the Wise card though, the best way I could explain this is that it's like PayPal, but if PayPal or also made a debit card that you could use to spend money from your account. The way it works is that you open a WISE account online and then you can order the physical card to associate with the account, which is a bit over five US dollars, I believe, and then you're more or less good to go. Uh, you'll just wanna make sure that you order the card in your home country before you go, as I don't believe they ship to Colombia. And even if they do, you can't actually use the debit card in the country it was issued in. All right, so setting it up is pretty easy. I'll just leave the links into the description to the website and the card purchase page. And then you can just go through the prompts yourself. Uh, once it's set up, you can add uh, money to it from your own bank account quickly and easily. They offer a number of methods for this, like transferring with pay ID, using your debit or credit card number, a manual uh, bank transfer, Google and Apple Pay. And for most of these methods, uh, the transfers will take less than a minute. I should mention that WISE unfortunately does not allow you to hold Colombian pesos in your account. It'll just hold the money in your own currency. And then when you go to use the card to pay for stuff, it'll convert it at the best rate. This rate is probably miles lower than what you'd be paying with your own bank card. Uh, but if you don't want to take my word for it, you can of course try both cards in Colombia and see which works better. Uh, in terms of using the actual card, it works just the same way as a regular debit card. You just tap it or insert it into an FPOS machine to pay for stuff and you'll just enter the pin number you created if you inserted it. Uh, whilst WISE also allows you to set up tap and pay with your phone where you just tap your phone instead of your card. I never found anywhere in Colombia that actually supported this so it's best to just use the card instead. The other great thing about this card is that it also works for withdrawals from several ATMs in Colombia, or cajeros as they more commonly call them. Uh, from my own experience, I can say that it works with ATMs associated with uh, two very common banks in Colombia, Davienda and BBVA, although it doesn't seem to work with Banco Colombia or Banco de Bogota. Uh, whilst these are the two largest banks in Colombia, uh, BBVA and Davienda are also very widespread in every city, so if you look up where they are before heading out, you won't have any issues. Uh, the card also works with another ATM from a smaller company called Servibanca, uh, but I found that ATM fees on that one were a little higher, so if you have the option, the other two would be better. Speaking of fees, I should note that WISE does have its own fee of about one US dollar per withdrawal. Uh, you can make a couple of withdrawals up to a certain amount for free before they start charging you though, but I'll put a link in the description with all of those details along with a list of all the other fees they charge. Long story short though, you're really not going to find a cheaper card to use overseas anywhere. 
Now, for those of you who may have heard of Wise or knew of it back when it was called TransferWise, you might know it mainly as a website and app used to send people money. And whilst it does a lot more than that these days, uh, that function is still there. Unfortunately, it's not the most robust way to send people money in Colombia, as it only works if they're with Bank Colombia or if they have a Wise account themselves. Uh, any other bank account though, and you'll be out of luck. Even if they are with Bank Colombia though, there's a minimum payment threshold of around 62,000 pesos. So I'd recommend instead using either PayPal or Western Union if you want to send money to a Colombian friend. Okay, so there was just one last thing I wanted to mention about using WISE, and that is that you'll probably want to notify your bank about your trip to Colombia before you go. I found out the hard way that even though I was never paying for stuff with my Australian debit card, my bank still ended up blocking my account just because of all the regular transfers I was making from it to my WISE account. So yeah, just make sure that you tell them that you're going to Colombia and maybe even that you'll be transferring money uh, to your WISE account regularly to avoid that from happening. Alternatively, if you're working remotely and would prefer to receive pay directly into your WISE account, you can also give your workplace your WISE account's payment details in the same way you would with your bank, and that way you could just bypass your bank altogether. Anyway, I hope I've shed some light on all of this and made your planning for Colombia a little less stressful. I just want to disclaim that whilst this card works like 95% of the time with Colombia's FPOS machines, there is 5% of the time where it might be rejected, so it's always a good idea to have some cash on you as I said before, but otherwise uh, this should work the vast majority of uh, places that take card. As I said, I'll leave a link to a list of all of Wise's fees down in the description, along with the other stuff I mentioned in the video. And if you want to see more useful info about Colombia, including some less bureaucratic stuff, which I promise is coming, like, subscribe, a bell, and I will see you in the next one. Ciao.